Your privacy is at risk and your data is the goal. But you can actually get a bit creative in how you secure your online assets. So I'll reveal 12 cyber security tips that no one is telling you about. This stuff could actually save you data, money, and even your identity. And no, I'm not talking about the normal things like using a strong password or using a VPN. So this is the real deal and let's get straight into it. Let's start with a real simple one. You should never use your real email for signups, free trials, or any random website. This is because all the free offers usually come with a price. You're selling your inbox to spammers or data brokers. Instead, you must use a burner email. ProtonMail, Tutanuta, or even Apple's Hide My Email feature let you to create throwaway addresses that forward emails to your real inbox. That way, when companies sell your data to spam list, you simply delete the burner and there you have it, a clean inbox and zero spam. Speaking of emails, when was the last time you checked if your email and password have been leaked? Most people do not even know that their data is floating around the dark web. So go straight to haveibeenpwned.com and check your email. If your email has been breached, change your password immediately. And if you want real-time alerts for feature leaks, sign up for breach notification. Now, you should know that cybersecurity isn't about reacting, it's about staying ahead. Now, have you ever bought a website domain? If you have, you might be exposing your personal data right now. By default, your name, your phone number, your email are listed publicly in Whois records. And trust me, hackers and scammers use these in phishing attacks. So, what's the fix? You should enable who is privacy protection through your domain registrar. This will replace your details with generic ones, keeping your identity off the internet. If you own a website, you must do this as soon as possible. Now, here is something crazy. Hackers can steal your data even without touching your phone. It's called bluejacking and NFC skimming. So if your Bluetooth or NFC is on, bad actors can intercept your connections and inject malware. The solution is simple. Always turn off your Bluetooth or NFC when you don't need them. You should set your Bluetooth to undiscoverable mode and if you use public transit or crowded areas often, you should consider an RFID blocking wallet to stop NFC hacks. Next, if you rely on SMS codes for your two-factor authentication, then you're simply playing with fire. Hackers can hijack your phone number using SIM swap attacks and intercept those text messages. Instead, you must switch to an authentication app like Google Authenticator, um, OT, or even hardware security keys. These will generate one-time codes that are not tied to your phone numbers. More security, zero SIM, and no swap risk. So if you use Chrome or in fact any other browser, you probably have seen those pop-ups for save your password. Well you must know that this is a hacker's dream come true. Browser stored passwords can be stolen in seconds with malware. So please, you will want to use a password manager like Bitwarden, 1Password or KeePass instead. And for ultra sensitive credentials, you should store them in an offline password manager like an encrypted USB drive. Did you know that 80% of home Wi-Fi routers still use their default admin credentials? This means that anyone with the right list can easily log in, change your settings, and even install malware in your network. Fix this right now. Change the default username and password. While you're at it, disable remote access and update the router's firmware. Most router hacks happen because people never update their firmware. I know you probably shop online. Well, if you do, you should never use your real card details on random sites. Data breaches happen every single day. Rather, use a virtual credit card.
Many banks and services like privacy.com generate one-time use card numbers for online purchases. That way, even if a site gets hacked, your real card details stay safe. No stress and no fraud. I said I won't talk much about VPNs, but then one tip I would leave is never use a free VPN. Simply put, if your VPN is free, you are the product. They will log your browsing data and sell it to advertisers. You should, at all costs, avoid public USB charging. Hackers might easily use juice jacking to steal your data or install malware through compromised USB ports. So if you must charge in public, please carry your own charger and use a USB blocker. It's a tiny adapter that only allows power to pass through. Lastly, set up a guest network for your smart devices. Smart devices can be a security nightmare. Most of them have very weak security and if they get hacked, Attackers can jump onto your main Wi-Fi network from them. So you must set up a separate guest network for IoT devices. That way, if a hacker gets into one, they don't get into everything else. And hey, if you got through this list to this very point, you're already 99% smarter than most people on the internet. Remember, you must stay safe out there. Your security is your own business and you must take charge of it. If you've liked this video, please like it, share it, and of course, subscribe if this is your first time to this channel. Till the next one, peace out.